Okay, so let's do a new um, Blue Jay example now. Um, let's start up Blue Jay. And what I want to do is, is go through the example on page four of the textbook. This is the fourth edition of the textbook. So it says, first I open up the example called Shapes. So we'll say Project, Open Project, and we'll select Shapes. This is in Chapter 1 inside of the Projects folder that you should have gotten off your CD. Make sure you're not running it from the CD, mind you. Now it says, it suggests that you right-click on the Circle class and choose New Circle. Now, on a Mac, you got a couple of options. One is to plug in a two-button mouse, two mouse, and then you can right-click and make a new circle. But if you don't have a two-button mouse, then you can just move over to the circle object. Hold down the control key and click, and then you can select new circle. Okay? It says, I'm going to make a new circle. Um, the name of the instance is Circle 1. Sure, we'll call it Circle 1 this time. Okay, and one of the things that you can do is make another circle. So let's control click and make another circle. And this one's going to be called Circle 2. Eventually we're going to care a lot about what we call these different um, instances of the circle class. For now we're just going to go with the default names. If we want to get really exciting, we can make a new square. Okay, so we've got all these different all these different um, objects now. Now, one of the things that we can do is we can call a method. So it says right click on one of these objects, and again, two button mouse, you can right click if not control click. So let's control click on circle two. And we have a whole bunch of methods that we've got in here. And one of them we could do is make visible. So let's select that. And when we say make visible, all of a sudden, we can see our circle on the screen. And again, we can hold down the control key and click. And we could say move right. And our circle moves right. And we could move right again. And there it goes. Now the interesting thing is circle one if we move right, nothing happens on here because that's not circle one, that's circle two. If we want to see circle one, we could make that visible and now we've got both circles. So let's make circle one move left a little bit. Again, remember you always have to control click or use a right mouse on a, a two button mouse with a right mouse button. So we can run all these different methods. We usually say these methods are called or these methods are invoked. Um, another thing we can do um, is we can um, call methods with arguments. So for example, let's try changing the color of circle two just so we can distinguish between the two of them. I'm going to type in red here. And bingo, circle two is red now and circle one is blue. Similarly, we could take circle one and we could pick move vertical. Look at that move vertical. It says takes an integer in there. So before I needed a string, that was something inside of quotes for the name of the color. But for circle one, we're going to move vertical. Let's move circle one 25 pixels vertically and see how that goes. There you go. So pretty cool. Um, and I guess that's pretty much what I wanted to show you.